Hello lovely viewers, you are most welcome to our channel Poetry Online. In this video, we shall be presenting to you the major and minor themes of the poem Night Rain by J.P. Clark. Kindly subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get updates on all our new videos. Once again, let us assure you of a very interesting discussion. Get ready for this lesson. Night Rain by J.P. Clark is a poem whose message revolves around a natural disaster caused by a heavy rainfall. The battle with the adverse effects of the rainfall recurs throughout the poem. The subject matter of the poem raises concerns as to how the poor or the vulnerable in society battle natural disasters or battle challenges in life. The poem opens with the narrator in the first person narrative telling his readers that he was awakened from sleep by a heavy rainfall at a time he does not even know. In the face of the acute rainfall, flood is imminent in their humble abode. However, the mother calls herself to tax by putting her valuables or belongings in a safe place away from the water. The aftermath of the flood is so bad that the narrator likens or compares their experience to a bad spell. The poem ends with the narrator and his family finally gets in a sleeping place to rest after the heavy rainfall. Some of the major themes explored by J.P. Clark in his point Ninth Rain includes the following. The theme of abject poverty or the theme of poor standards of living. J.P. Clark's Ninth Rain depicts or clearly portrays the situation of the poor in Nigeria and Africa at large. Nigeria and by extension Africa as a continent endowed with rich human and natural resources, but the irony of it all is that most Africans, especially those living in rural areas, are faced with a myriad of challenges or problems. Even though natural disasters are universal natural phenomena, the poor deliberately uses a typical poor African household that is worried about the rainfall to depict the misery of the victims. In this poem, Rain can equally be interpreted as problems, misfortunes, or troubles. J.P. Clark uses his point Ninth Rain to systematically call our attention to the perceived inadequacies in the society we live in. It is evident in the point that the rural communities have been cut off from the rest of the country, making way for suffering, untold hardship, and poverty. What's more, the poet uses his poem to show the ravaging effect of poverty in Africa, a continent whose people lack basic necessities of life. Thus, most people in the African continent do not even have a decent shelter. The victims of this poem, according to the narrator, are wet even more than the birds that perch on the trees throughout the rain. The helplessness of man to natural phenomena, or Man's helplessness in the face of natural occurrences. Another theme that permeates throughout the poem is man's helplessness in the face of natural phenomena or natural disaster. Nature in the poem is depicted as a more powerful force that is beyond the control of man. Nature is powerful and natural occurrences are blind as they do not give considerations to anybody. As poor and miserable as the family is, they are still affected by this heavy rainfall. The effect of natural phenomenon on human beings is the central message of the poem, or the central theme of the poem. It consolidates a popular saying that man cannot cheat nature. It is equally evident that man's struggle and encounter with the wild forces of nature is practically inevitable since man's survival is entirely tied to his environment. Hope in times of adversity. One thing that makes this poem stand out is the fact that all is not gloomy and pessimistic about this poem. Even though the family was made to go through some unbearable and unimaginable suffering during the rainfall, they demonstrated some resilience and they rose to put in measures to keep their situation. The poem demonstrates this fact by pointing out that in the dead of the night, when the rain arrives uninvited, their mother is given a job to do. She moves her valuables or belongings out of the reach of the rainwater. 
What it simply means is that, no matter the challenges or problems one is confronted with, we should make bold attempts to solve them instead of crying or sitting down doing nothing. Not only is the mother industrious, her children are also understanding and they understand the situation at hand. Hence, they encourage one another not to tremble but turn upon their side of the loosening mat. The Raggedness of Village Life the society depicted in this poem is that of a rural settlement and the choice of words of the speaker, coupled with the images presented in the poem, consolidates the fact that this poem has its setting in the village. The raggedness of life in the village is clearly represented with images such as sheaves, wooden bowls, earthenware, mats, roof thatch, etc. The raggedness of the rural areas Depicted in the poem, further emphasizes the misery and harsh realities in the rural area and the societies we live in. Lastly, the role of a mother in the family. Interestingly, the poet recognizes the motherly role of women in the family and society at large. He demonstrated this in line 22 to 27 when he says, Mother is busy deploying about a roomlet and floor, although it is dark. I know her practice test as she moved her bins, bags and vats out of the runs of water. This line tells readers of how the mother battles the natural phenomenon. In the African society, women are known for their busy nature when it comes to taking care of the affairs of the home or home management. Thus, the writer stresses on the role a mother plays in the family. Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share this video.